It's not a game, I'm not a robot Ain't I challenging you? I'm not a phantom, I'm in your face And I'm here to see it through Right before your eyes Why just multiply? Come to claim my right
Hello and welcome to another LMC cast. Bit of a bit of change in the setup today. Um, in the sense, I, I, I am hosting the game, so I have been elected to introduce everyone. So uh, tonight we have with us the undefinable Earthheart, Yarg, the voracious Mister Venato. Hello. And the roguish random genius. And Hello there. I am the game host, uh, the voracious Vija. <laughs> <laughs> you use voracious twice there. But... Yeah. <laughs> Nuts. Sorry. <laughs> the voluptuous Vija. Wait, that no, that's already taken by someone else. <laughs> that was running through my head, and then it's like, no. <laughs> I, I think, given his repetition of the word, it's vocabulary less. I think it's probably a better word. Uh, uh, but yes, v, v, he's just hosting this one because I don't know this game. Vija I don't does. know it either, so. Uh, the saying that I have just spent the last 20 minutes reading the rule book in front of me. <laughs> Pray tell, what is the game that we are playing today? So. Tonight, uh, we are playing a game called Azul, which is basically a game where you have a number of mosaic tiles and you need to collect these tiles in order to uh, fill in a board, score points for where you fill it in, and yeah, and then um, to win the game, you have to complete an entire row. But there's more dimensions to it in that uh, you have to, uh, while you're completing it, you can score bonus points for uh, completing rows or columns next to you as you go. The more connecting pieces you get, the more bonus points you get, and that could go a long way to uh, winning the game. I hope that made sense. I don't think it did. <laughs> I'm really well, hoping well, that this automated thing, because this is supposed <laughs> to be an automated one, I'm really hoping it works well. Fingers crossed. We are, fact. So, uh, just, to, just to make the ready, gentlemen. <laughs> so, just to make it clear for those who are listening, we have in front of us a five by five grid of um, tiles colors. of colours yes. uh, of uh, red, green slash teal, blue, yellow, and black. These are the five colours uh, tiles we can pick up from the board. Our main goal is to get a row of each one of these five colours. We do so by picking up tiles from the board and put them onto our board in order to try and complete rows. We get points for, adding, for having complete rows, as well as partial rows, columns, and other associated things, which hopefully the game will uh, automate for us. Yeah, and um, different levels have different requirements. So the topmost row only has the requirement of having one tile of a particular color whereas the further you go down uh, the more the requirement of the number of tiles of a particular color you need goes up so you've got one for the top and then five of a particular color for a bottom and we should point out that this is the first of all because there are actually yes. two more sequels to this game <laughs> yes is that how joy well, I mean, they, they move into stained glass windows. That's As the second one, I think. Azul yeah. 2, tile harder. <laughs> yes. Tiling Sh with glass. <laughs> shall, we, shall we get started?
So uh, as I have been uh, nominated by the game as the starting player, I will start by picking those three, which it seems to have picked. And then I think you maybe you click on your board to see where they go. Yeah. Okay. Then so that's it's... so that's three uh, green teals that it's uh, that we yeah. just picked up. And I put them straight against my level three. So yeah, you mm. Pinata, you just pick up what you want and then click up on the board where you want it to go. Uh, hmm. Let's go with blacks. Yeah. Two blacks. Okay. I'm... Du noir. <laughs> I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for two reds in the two space uh, row. Now each each factory we can pick up on from only has four tiles, and then once once we've selected from that, the remaining tiles go to the middle, uh, and you can draw from the middle. So uh, basically, we've got nine little discs in front of us, which are our factories. Each one has four randomly assorted. Um, tiles on them mm -hmm. uh, uh, the only downside from drawing from the middle which will is starting to get quite attractive um is that the first person to take for it has to take minus one point yes well for the first person that does yes, yes. the first everyone person that does everyone afterwards they're okay <sighs> so unfortunately i've got some tough decisions to make i think but i believe i'm gonna go with blue I'm actually going to put it on the bottom row. Okay, an interesting choice. Now it's back round to myself. And I'm going to pick two uh, teal tiles. I'm going to put them on the second row. Uh, let's go with... The middle now is very attractive. It's got uh, yellow and black with three tiles in the middle. How do you do better is the question. Mm. Uh, you know, let's go with uh, one red for the top. Ah, interesting choice. Oh, oh, oh! The, the the middle is looking very attractive now, isn't it? It is rather. Um, I am. You know what? I am going to pick up. Going to pick up four black, and they are going in. They are going in the. Fourth, hmm? and yeah, you they're, they're put going it in the fifth row and then complete it on your next round. That is true. That is true. Uh, if someone doesn't steal the blacks in the meantime, yes, uh, I, 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 you can be a dick at this yes. game if you want. To <laughs> yes, <be. laughs> yes. Well, I, I'm putting it in the fourth row. Hmm. So I have picked up the the, uh, the one tile, which means I am losing one point at the end of this round. Speaking of which, I'm going to be taking those blue. Three go in there. Where do I have a one go? Oh, okay. Oh, so uh, okay. The, the overflow goes straight into there. That's oh, a... okay. I thought I could put it on a different row. Yeah, I think the automation doesn't allow you to put it into another row, which is That's annoying. annoying. Yeah. Uh, so now. Um, oh, sorry. You just turn first. Yeah. I'm going to highlight, hijack those three yellow. Sorry. Oof. Oh, no. I think I know what I did wrong. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, you, well. you have to put it in the higher row first, then the lower row. Ah, okay. So I've uh, crippled myself one point, but never mind. It's it's learning the rules, basically. Hmm. Yeah. Learn by doing. Uh, you, let's go with... Uh, let's go with those down there. Right. Blues in the uh, third column row, even. Okay, well, I'm... So I'm going to be picking up one black and putting it on I'm my doing... single. Okay. I'm going to take three yellow and put them on my three. Okay. I'm going to take a single yellow. I'm going to put it on my four to complete that row. And so now we have to take from the center. I'm assuming it oh, goes yeah. until all the tiles yes. are gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So mm, I'm going to take those two blues. I'm going to... Oh, no, it does just yeah. automatically put them in. You junk. Okay. Uh, I'm taking the two teals and putting them in my fifth row. Uh, red or black, red or black. What's your preference? I will go with black in the one. 
And I will take the red in the one. Well, I think Fiji round. Best in that one. Oh, on the right. Okay, well, the game is automating all of our point scoring, which is rather good. So, yes. starting from Vija. No, it's on you, actually. No, no, no. I mean, starting from no, Vija no. in terms of the points. <laughs> oh. Because he started with the points. Because let's at least explain what we've got, what we've got in terms of points after the first round. Hmm. So Vija currently has four tiles completely isolated from each other. So that's one point for each isolated tile. Oh, yeah, that's and so total of four total points. Four. Mr. Fernando has three, three but isolated, some... but I have two because ah. I had a one and minus one. I Indeed. Did. Uh, yeah, he had a minus one. So I had. Three, I have one isolated tile, and then I had two next to each other in a vertical. So that would be uh, four minus my one for my floor tile, which means I've got three. So basically, it's one for the solo one, and then it was one for placing the first tile down, and then two for placing the second one down in the column. Hmm. Ah. So if you can combo up columns, you can start getting ridiculously good points. Yeah. yeah. So the key, is, so for me now, because I've got uh, a mm. teal on the second line and the third line, there. If I got the blue one that's next to both of them, I'd get three points off the combo. Back. Yes, this, this combo heavy into combos. And then yeah. Earth Art has uh, just three isolated tiles by themselves placed on the board. With uh, minus one from his floor tile, meaning he's on two. Ooh. So currently, after the first round, it is Vija, followed by myself, followed by Fernando and Earth in last. And because um, Random Genius got the first player tile, I'm assuming that's why you get to go next. Indeed. Or first in the next round. Something Indeed. Like that. <laughs> Something like that. So, take your poison. Well, it would be rude for me not to pick this, wouldn't it? One of the factories has four yellow. I'm picking up four yellow and putting them in the yeah, four that's... yellow, four <laughs> yellow row because why else? What else would I do? Why not? See, I'm fine with that because I'm going to take these two red and stick them here. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was no way anyone could block that because there were a lot of reds on the table, so you would have. But there's no that. other two reds on the table, so. There's a lot of stuff you could have done. There's a lot of stuff I could have done, but the, the four yellows by themselves were too... Oh, God, yeah. Too tempting. I too definitely tempting. agree with you on that one. Yeah. So I'm going to pick up three reds on the third row. Okie dokie. Uh, hmm. Let's go with... Uh, hmm. Let's go with one yellow for the top. Mm, good play. Interesting. So I'm going to go for three red on the third row. This is where it's going to get complicated. Indeed. So there's a lot of options. Mm. And I think I'm going to keep it quite simple and just take one red off of my top row. That's oh. good. That's good. Uh, oh, you, do... you you really annoyed me there because I wanted <laughs> the yellow from that. that yellow. <laughs> you do actually get a, a combo bonus if you get all five of the same color tiles on your board. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an end of game bonus that you can get. Uh... As well as the bonus for having a complete horizontal row, as well as a bonus for complete vertical row. Hmm. Uh, this is the difficulty now. Do I want to go for <laughs> changing tactics to black in row four? Oh, um, hmm. Let's 
go with the two yellow on the next row down. Yeah, that's not and a bad take move. One. Yeah. yeah. So he gets to start next round. So he does. He does. So I am going to go for two blacks on the second row. Now this leaves me with decisions to make. Indeed. There are a lot of tiles in the centre. We've got uh, three it of is. each of black, teal, blue, and uh, red. <laughs> and I'm going to take those red and put three reds on my three row. <laughs> I've got a lot of red on mine. Right, I'm going to take two black. Yeah, that's sensible. And complete my four black. Uh, hmm. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to ruin Ian's fun because I see what he's trying to do. He's trying, I to, don't put know one, he's he he's, he's trying to put one of every colour on each row. So I'm going to take the blue, the teals away from him. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair, and uh, yes, that was the plan. <laughs> uh, so this leaves me in a situation Ooh. where yeah, I'm going to lose gonna get points. Next points. I, I, have, I have played aggressively, and that has backfired for me horribly because. I only have, I can only put tiles in the first row, which means I am losing a lot of points for them going on the floor. Oh, damn. I just really, yeah. 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 I can't <laughs> take those blue because you have to take those blue, don't you? Indeed, because I can't put the, I can't put the blacks in the first row because I've already got a tile there, so it has to be the blues. So I am losing four oh, points oh, at the end of this ow. round. Oh. So I have to take the free blacks. But you won't yes. lose any points for doing it. You won't lose I won't yes. lose any points, but it means that I now need either one black or two black in the next round to complete a thing. Entirely mm. possible. It's entirely mean, possible. Yeah, that doesn't sound What's too bad. Pun? Entirely. No, it wasn't, but <laughs> So I just put uh, my bomb row. Scoring starts. <laughs> okay. So well, Mr. Venato seems to have figured out this game. Uh huh. So <laughs> after so after that round, I'm gonna start with myself because I started the last round. I placed down four tiles, three of them in a vertical row, and one by itself. So the one by itself got one, and then I got um and then I got six for the row. Uh for the column, I should say. However, I then lost four points for my floor tiles, meaning that my score is currently seven. Earth Heart put down a bunch of tiles, uh, a load of reds, which meant that he got a combo of uh, three, uh, as well as four, five, six, seven, uh, with two um, side by side horizontal ones. So he's now on a total of nine. I basically have a Tetris piece. <laughs> yeah. uh, slightly weird Tetris piece, yes. Yeah. Um, Vija put down some tiles. Now he now has two sets of two, which are uh, in a column with each other, as well as a couple of isolated ones. He's now on eight points, and Mr. Fanato now has four items in a column. If he gets one more, he gets a bonus ten points at the end of the game. Mm. He's got an uh, L, yeah, L block, a very, long L, a very long yeah. L, a very long L block, reverse L. Uh, so he is on ten points. So currently, this it's all changed. In that single round, yeah. it's all changed. I am <laughs> yeah. last, followed by uh, Vija, followed by Earthheart, and then Mr. Fanato is in the lead. This ink and gold all over again. And <laughs> Mr. Fanato is the first to start the next round, but I think after two rounds, should we talk about uh, last month or so?
Who, who are we going with? Winner or current current winner or current loser? Uh, let's go current loser. Yeah. Fine. I think this is the first time I've actually started for quite some time, actually. Ah. So I'm, I'm normally the last one to, to talk. <laughs> so what have you been up to? What I have been up to? Um, to be honest, most of it has been spent carving through the gaming backlog, as well as trying out some new things. So, uh, one of the new things I've tried out is something that uh, a bunch of the others here have played out, played quite recently, and played quite a bit of, and uh, that is Need for Speed Heat, which is one of the more up-to-date versions of the Need for Speed franchise. And basically, you have a car, you drive it around a prefabricated city, you do races, hijinks ensue. And, yeah, it's it's quite all right for what it is it's not my cup of tea in terms of uh everything but it's enjoyable it's very enjoyable with friends solo it's kind of a chore it's kind of just there and i'm not i really not a fan of the the single player stuff but with friends it just lifts it up so much yeah so um i've been playing rounds when i have been able to with uh mr Fernando, with kev dusk and shadow fox and basically, we just race around this gigantic city doing races and uh, avoiding uh, corrupt cops and basically having ridiculous times driving ridiculously fast and ex- ridiculously expensive cars. And it's just, it's just one of those games where you just play, for, play with your friends and it's just complete nonsense. And it's just sort of a nice stress relief. It's also hilarious when you see... Um, uh, repurposed uh, VW Beetle shoot off into the stratosphere because it's too fast. Yes, I need to play this to, game. He's figured out how to tame that damn car. <laughs> um, yeah. So for context, uh, you can have, there are a bunch of community skins available on um, on the game, and one of the skins for the VW Beetle is Herbie the Love Bug, the beloved <laughs> the beloved car from uh, Disney's movies. And basically, um, we were um, doing some races and such, and Dusk ended up uh, picking it and souping it up to ridiculous um, levels. To the extent where he went off a ramp, he was launched straight into the air, and the game deemed him uh, out of bounds and disqualified him from the race. He basically flew about a mile in distance. It was that... It was that speedy and that much of a, a jump, um, to the extent where now everyone is starting to mod their uh, VW Beetles in game for ridiculous nonsense. So yeah, that is that's one of the multiplayer games I've been playing, um, along with fourteen because fourteen never ends. And after all, Glamour is the is the true end game of the game, not End Walker. So uh, I've got that to look forward to. But the other main thing I've been playing, and one that really was only released in the last week or so, and it has just sort of absorbed all my time, and I know that a few people here know about it, and that is um, a little game called Tunic. And I know that a couple of people here know about it. Oh, yes, yes I've seen I've, racing it. I played a demo version about three years ago or so, quite a while ago. Hmm. Um, it was definitely a nice little isometric Zelda-y, Zelda-y like game. Mm. So, know. Basically, Tunic is, as Earth said, it's a Zelda game where you play a cute little fox in a green tunic. And basically, you start the game washed up on the shore of this mysterious beach, of this mysterious island, and basically you're gone, okay, explore, have fun. And much and much like in the original Zelda game, uh, the first cave you find is your first weapon, because tropes. But from then on, the game starts getting more intricate. So it is primarily a Zelda game. There are some other elements to it. Uh, I know some people have likened it to a Souls Light uh, or Souls Like game because of some of the mechanics behind it. But in all honesty, I think of it as uh, a Zelda game with very intricate combat and a cute little fox. Um, basically, 
Uh, the game is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It's, I've had so much fun with it. And the reason why I've had so much fun with it is the reason why I'm not saying anything about it. It's an adventure. And as such, it's a game you need to play unspoilt. Um, there are so many things hidden in the game. So many pathways, so many intricate uh, puzzles and so much uh, lore about it that I honestly think it's one of those games where if you go in blind, you'll have much better time playing it than if you've seen parts of it before because there are parts which it would go that do shock you and there are some puzzles where if you once you get that light bulb moment it's such a it's such a big thing and i'm up to the final boss or what i feel is this the final boss of the game but there's so much that the game offers and by far one of the, the things i love about it is the fact that you are washed up on this foreign land, and as such, foreign land has a foreign language. And basically, you are stumbling your way through this land with no knowledge about the law of the land and such. You just see these sigils everywhere, and it's just a case of, yeah, you, you are absorbed into that world, and it makes you, it just adds that extra layer, uh, layer. One thing I do love, though, and it's the way they handle the um the way you load the controls so typically in a game you have an instru- you have instructions that say oh you, you got uh you have um ways of saying oh yeah sort of here are a list of all your controls sort of use control stick to move you can remap them and such uh tunic gives you an old school instruction manual as in from the 90s, complete with sort of screenshots of the game itself, a place where you can doodle stuff into it, and it's, it just adds so much charm to it. And the, the thing is, is that this instruction manual is incomplete, and it's something that you build up over the course of the game, and it's just something that's really clever, because if you can figure it out before, beforehand, excellent. If not, the game's there to help. But I'm not saying anymore because there's a lot of stuff surrounding the game, the way it's played and such. I think it's such such a good game. Certainly, yeah. contender, certainly a contender of one of the games of the year so far for me. I think it's, it's one just... I'm definitely going to have to play before the end of the year. But um, mm. uh, yeah, it's I, I'm going to give it a little bit before I go on to it because I've got something I'll talk about later that's currently absorbing my time. But uh... Yeah, no, it it's definitely, I, I, it's been quite hyped up, but I think for good reason. Yeah, I think mm. it's for good reason as well. It it's a, it was being advertised to me when I opened up Steam this evening. So <laughs> <laughs> Steam knows what you like, then. Uh, yes, it does know. I have a thing for. Cute I was going to say, uh, I don't know if you played it. Uh, if you got a chance to play it, because you were at the event I did play it at. Which was uh, RTX. Um, no, I haven't played it. I've watched, but not played. Of course, yeah, you were there. Uh, actually, was it the year you were there or not? Because I don't know if you were there both years or not, Ayn. That um, me and um, Vija went. And it, Shadow Fox, actually. It, it debuted, <laughs> what, 2018? It's only, ever been, it's only ever done two years in the UK. So... Uh... I'm I sure. can't remember which it, year it was it there. Pr- it probably I mean, was. I don't remember. But yeah, no. It, it, I'm definitely looking forward to giving it a try, but I think I'm going to do that at a. Probably during one of like, the downtimes when there's not many games coming out. True. True. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much all the new stuff that I've been playing. As for stuff I've been watching, it's pretty much just been catching up on the stuff I enjoy, um, with a particular leaning on uh, game shows at the minute because that's one of my sort of um, one of sort of my my interest is just sort of game shows in general. So I've been catching up with a bunch of them, both on TV and on um, YouTube. A particular one I recommend to people who like their video game uh, knowledge and trivia, and one that I tell. 
uh, thought about constantly is arcade pits. <laughs> I, I love that you tell me about it constantly, and it's one that I certainly know of already because I follow that. Um, <laughs> although I don't know if he posts them anymore on YouTube. Does he? Yes, he does. Because I know they bought the. They're doing a load for Giant Bomb now. Yes, but no, um, he, he he's just put a whole bunch of uh, of arcade pits. So uh, up recently, so person Me. is uh, Smite S M I G H T. He's been doing it for about five, six years now. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> ba- basically, it's a variety game show where people uh, people jump on the the show. They play challenges such as clear this level within a set period of time, be the first to beat this boss. Uh, and and there's, there's trivia questions as there's well. Trivia stuff. questions. There's a drawing round where you're given a prompt and you have to try and draw something in MS Paint, um, figure out the audio music, figure out screenshots, and it, there's a lot of fun with that. So if you, if you do like your game shows, and you do like your video game-based stuff, give it a try. Arcade Pit on YouTube and Smite on uh, Twitch. It's also on Smite on uh, YouTube as well, I think. Yes, yes. but if, if you look up Arcade Pit... Yeah, uh, you should be able to find it. Also, once you've seen a couple of episodes, go see the April Fools' ones; they're hilarious. God, I don't think I've watched any of those. I I will say also, if you find his channel, uh, go watch his um, Overlord Let's Plays because they are very good. It's actually one of the things that got me into that series. So, yes. Well, I think that's uh, enough of me waffling on. <laughs> 